Let's go fly a dragonfly. That's very far forward on the bar position. Stop pulling on the bar, Joe. Stop pulling on the bar. Let it fly. Feels weird having the wheels up, but didn't have to pull them up. So you might see these a bit out of sync. So hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, this is my first ever experience of flying a dragonfly. Um, and this is kind of harping back to where Mark flew mine for the first time and said he'd flown a dragonfly um, and uh, gave me his thoughts on it then. Uh, and then was nicely surprised about flying the PB. So this is a bit of a turnaround really for me in that I've flown all that, but I've never flown where it all started from. And if you haven't seen the interview with Ben, where we had the nine here at Darley Moor, go, and have, go back and have a look at that, because it gives you all the history of where this came from and why he designed the Dragonfly. Um, so it's kind of got a bit of a special place for him in that respect. So please go and have a look at that if you haven't seen it already. Um, and let's just go and see how this, uh, this fly goes for me. Stamp check complete. Rust engine started. It's always a shame when it's wet because you think the aircraft's going to get muddy. Key dokey, right. Controls, I have full movement of the controls forward. Left wing down, right wing down, and all around the box. All clear, all behind. Let's see if we can get a full power check out of this engine. And that's good. Let's go for a taxi. I have to give a big shout out to Sam. Uh, who, is, uh, who gave me permission to video this flight, otherwise it would have just been a, a, a normal test flight in that respect. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be a long flight, it's just going to be checking it out, making sure it all flies as we would expect a flexwing to fly. No unusual things, the engine performs okay, the retracts work, um, does it turn okay, has it got a turn in the wing, all those things, so when we hand it back, it's all good. It's always nice to see people smiling and waving. Visor is down. It's still light well within conditions. Instruments, there aren't any other than the fuel gauge. Uh, trim, there isn't one. T's and P's are definitely going to be warm enough by the time I've taxied here. Fuel got sufficient for the flight. Trim, there isn't one. And captain's brief, if I do not achieve full power, so this is a test situation, Giles. If I do not achieve full power or I'm not happy. Full field with the wind is to the right today. And then subsequently after that, once I've got good height and I'm comfortable, then I'm going to retract the gear. Okay. Nose wheel straight, arm secure, I'm comfortable. Right, and captain's brief complete. Let's go for this. Let's go fly a dragonfly. Very sedate. 
and the bar position is quite far forward actually. Good rate of climb. And the gear is coming up. That's very far forward on the bar position. Keep trying to pull on the bar, stop it Giles. Ugh, right. There's a very slight turn to the right. Let's see if it stays there with a turn to the left. The wing. The wing all looks good. Let's get out of circuit. Very leisurely take off. Almost felt like it was like, is this going to get off? And it just lifted off. Really quite nice. Stop pulling on the bar, Joe. Stop pulling on the bar. Let it fly. Okay, so yeah, so there is a slight turn to the right. And we're still climbing away. So even less power. Okay then, so we're going to get out of circuit, get some clear of people's houses and we're going to start some turns, do a nice leisurely 30 degree turn to the left. That's it. It's fairly sedate. Yep. Let's try one round to the right, I need to get out of this circuit and avoid this guy's house. Drifted back in there. It's weird when you fly different aircraft and they all have different bar positions and your muscle memory, depending on which one you've flown, starts so going, it should be there! But it's not, it's right there. Feels weird having the wheels up but didn't have to pull them up. From memory, I think the maximum you can run a uh, Bailey is three minutes or five minutes? Five minutes at full power. A sprightly 20 horsepower. We'll do some stalling next. Let's see how it responds. Come on, Charles. Far position. There we go. So, happy with the turns. We know there's a, a slight imbalance in the left and the right. Um, let's try some stalling. So, height. We are good. Engine. Let's do a stall in the glide first. The throttle is closed. Smoothly coming forward with the bar, maintaining the attitude, maintaining the attitude, keeping the wings level. There's the stall. Far back for speed, and then into the stall again. Very, very benign. Do that again. So we're in the glide. Raising the nose, reducing the speed, reducing the speed, all the way back. There's the stall bar back, gain some airspeed, and then re enter the glide. Minimal, minimal height loss. So let's use a level stall. Very benign, Sam, very benign. So level flight, coming forward all the way to the front strut, slowly, slowly, slowly. There's the nose coming up, there's the brake bar back, full power, and raising the nose again to climb away. Lovely. No issues there. Right then. So fuel gauge is still working. Hardly moved because it's a Bailey and just sucks fuel. Let's think about re-entering the circuit. Do have to remember I've got undercarriage. There's a big red light there that tells me <laughs> I've got something wrong with the undercarriage. As in, it's up. It's not wrong, it's broken. It's something that tells me I've got to do something. Big red light. Trying to find a gap to go through. I don't want to go above because it's going to take me a while to climb up. Let's go through that gap there. Stop pulling on the bar, Giles. The bar position is different. Right, let's get back into circuit. Beneath this bit of cloud. Come on, come down, come down. And clear a cloud. Come on, get me back. 
I want to get back. Faster. Right, we have uh, the paragliders are out today and paramotors, so overhead join. Look at some pre landing checks of fuel. I definitely have a sufficient for a go around if required. Awareness we have people walking on the FM. So, Sam, thank you very much for the privilege of being able to fly your aeroplane and I'm also uh, the privilege of being able to video your, uh, your flight. It's a lovely machine, I just need to keep stop pulling on the bar. I've forgotten how much I missed the purr of a Bailey. I've forgotten how much I missed the purr of a Bailey. Right, gear down. It's still transiting. And we have a green light. Technically, is that two green lights? Can't be three, because the front one's still there. Is there anything like the PB? It ain't gonna come down. So let's see how this does. Firm hand throttle's closed. Come on. Come down, boy. Definitely got speed, because I'm rearward of hands-off trim. There we go. Starting to let, starting to reduce height. Come on, come down, please come down. And we're down. Very nice, very floaty, very floaty. And we're going to come off at Alpha. Slow, 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 slow. <sighs> 55. And we're going to go for stabilising and then shut down. Well, Sam, thanks again for that flight. Really enjoyed that. And it's really nice to see the differences in the different types of, um, of generations of aircraft from my PB that's in the hangar there. Um, and where it all started from in 2007 on the Dragonfly. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's really nice for me to get back into this type of flying from where it all started from. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So we'll wrap this video up here. Sorry if it's been a bit, a bit of a plain video for this one, but it's really nice for me just to get my hands on this type of aircraft. So until next time everybody, fly safe.